Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. And anyone that has watched my channel for a little while knows that um, I, I've been very critical about this new era of Survivor. You know, some of my uh, videos are called Survivor 43 is already set the bar extremely low, or the worst tribal in Survivor history, stuff like that. But if I'm being honest with you right now, I'm actually enjoying watching Survivor 44. I know, isn't that crazy, right? Like, isn't, isn't that absurd that I'm enjoying watching Survivor? Well, you know, I'm always going to be very critical of Survivor, especially with all the new stuff they're doing, you know. It, when, when Survivor does something I don't like, I'm going to say, you know, that I, I don't like it. Or when they make twists that I don't like, I'm going to say I don't like them. But this season, man, it's 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 been pretty good, man. I know people are saying that it's actually mid, and you know, we're just, we're just, we, there's been so much mid when it's just finally just okay. You know, we're like, whoa. But honestly, man, I, I really enjoyed this season. You know, I, I think the cast has, you know, done, has been way better than I thought they were coming into the season. I thought the cast was kind of boring. But we, we've gotten some pretty good characters like Yam Yam, Carolyn. You know, Carolyn, for as much as I don't like her, uh, I, I agree that, you know, she's a very important person on this cast and makes the season way more interesting. And I said, Yamil, I, I like Brandon, obviously. I, I really like Brandon if you watch my podcast. You know, Tanny is really cool. Even uh, Matthew Blankenship, not Gathy, Gathy just got medically evacuated, you know, RIP. You know, Matthew, even Matthew and Franny have their own little cool moments where they're doing stuff, you know. I, I just think that for the most part, this cast has actually worked out pretty well, you know. I, I think that, you know, there's only maybe a couple duds on this season. Like, I would say that Julie, uh, Julia might have been, or not Julia, I don't, what am I saying? Jamie might have been a dud, but, you know, she's had... She actually had this, this last episode was really funny is when she was saying, I am the most important asset on Survivor when it's like, no, no, you're not. <laughs> but you know, we've had a couple duds like, you know, uh, Lauren hasn't really been all there. Josh, you know, for a while wasn't there, but I think he's finally starting to pick up, you know, but for the most part, I think the people that needed to go home, you know, people like Helen, people like, um, a, uh, what, a Maddie have gone home. Even, even Bruce, I don't know if Bruce is really going to be that interesting so maybe him getting med medic evacuated well obviously it sucks for him was maybe a better thing for the season and bruce is coming back anyway like they've already announced that bruce is going to come back anyway so it, it doesn't really matter and also the uh the one the one thing i'll say that i'm not a fan of is that the very first island twist they did where basically no matter what you're going to lose your vote i don't like it when players basically don't have a choice because your vote's the most important thing in the game right so when when players don't have um when players literally have no choice but to risk their vote i'm not a fan it was sarah matthew and matthew by the way still doesn't have one of his votes you know coming to the merch he doesn't have his vote but it was uh it was sarah it was matthew and uh the other person oh who was it oh, it was lauren and you know sarah's advantage she has is not in the game anymore at least it shouldn't be in the game that was the one twist that I, I was really like kind of, you know, huh, you know, uh, you know about like I was like, eh, I don't know if that was really good. But other than that, man, these past couple twists have been pretty good. This this one twist where they're just literally on an island and no one <laughs> there's nothing to do on it except eat food and talk to other people. I actually I really like that. I think that's a very interesting twist. Uh, my my voice is cracked, but that's a very interesting twist, you know? You just get to talk to people and really getting relationships is one of the most important aspects of the game you know before what i i guess i guess season 11 technically speaking you know you you the way you get through the game is having good strong social relationships to get you through the game you know even if you were targeted at people that have your back and this opens up for that you know we saw that danny and you know and brandon kind of made their bro alliance now was it kind of dumb that they basically just disregarded carolyn entirely yeah but it, it was still a really good scene. We got to see two people uh, really connect and basically form an alliance right then and there and leave one. And th that I will say that was very funny. That one scene where they just left Carolyn out. Like they completely disregarded her. That was, that was absolutely crazy that they did that. Like why would you do that? And other things like the idol cage. At first I thought I was like, eh, this is... This is kind of cheesy, you know. I, this is kind of like, you know, do we really need this? But uh, I, I've kind of warmed up to it now. You know, Carolyn did that thing with the sticks where she put the sticks in the cage and it's like, what the heck? Like, why do you even do that? And the very first episode had fireworks with the cage, you know, because Brandon found it and then Brandon used it and idled out Maddie, which by the way, that was the first idled out player 
since I'm pretty sure, I think the niece technically got idled out on um, Winners at War, but I think it was like actually a tie vote. But, uh, you know, I, just in case that doesn't trim to say that it was the first person that got idled out since Sandra in Winners at War. It's been four seasons and someone's been idled out, which is crazy because this new era is supposed to be crazy. And it really hasn't been. And a lot, and a lot of these tribals have been pretty interesting. Like the the tribal council before this episode. Well, there was no tribal council, so I before this episode, so I can actually see the last tribal council was very interesting with Carolyn and Yami and getting to a public disagreement about what they're going to do with Josh. And then Josh plays his idol. And then we actually got a uh, kind of a tribe swap. Now, I will say this: if you're going to switch people onto tribes, why don't you just do a tribe swap? You know, that kind of annoyed me. But I wasn't like, I didn't completely hate the uh, thing, but it's just like the person that gets tribe swapped, you know, and gets the idols basically all the power, especially if their tribe doesn't lose that, uh, and, and the idols don't work to merge. So they're going to play it. So even if, you know, even if you uh, make it, to, uh, make the merge without going to the tribal council, your idol doesn't stay, which I do like that. I like the fact that these players that get put in pretty actually good positions because their idols don't get to keep them. But like, if you miss the first tribal after the swap and then you go to the second tribal which because there's a medical evacuation there was no second tribal but if you do go to the second tribal and you haven't played your idol yet you're safe like you're completely safe which is kind of dumb i'm just i'm still like why can't we just have a tribe swap you know after four players have been voted out then do two rounds of the tribe swap tribes like why can't we just have a regular tribe swap i don't know but I still thought it did bring some interesting things uh, to the table. And for the most part, I, like this season has just been, you know, 41 had a decent pre-merge and then just got really, really bad down the stretch with all the bad, bad, bad stuff 41 happened, 41. Then 42 was just really mid overall, you know, and then 42 kind of had this slow-ish um, pre-merge and then had you know, a kind of an up and down merge. I just need consistency. You know what I'm saying? That's all I need. All I need is consistency. And this season so far has been pretty consistent. Like not every single episode is boom, boom, bang. You know, there's been like a mid episode here and here and there. But at the season, man, can just keep this pace and get even better. Which I'm hope I'm I, I have I have hopes that it will get better uh, in this stretch because I think this cast can make it better. Guys like Carson, guys like Carolyn. You know, we haven't had a Carolyn like figure like Carolyn. I think I said this in the podcast. But she really does feel like the main character of the show. You know, I don't think we've had a person be like this in the forefront of the show since like maybe Tony's and Winners at War because they kind of put him out in the front. But still, this is like really like maybe even more than Tony. I'm not sure. Like she's in the forefront. Like she is the main character. Carolyn is like the main character. And it's cool because Carolyn is an interesting character. I've said I don't like her. I, I, I still don't like her personality. I'd hate to be around her. But she, she does definitely bring interesting things to the show, you know, that Josh Tribal would have been really probably boring if it wasn't for her because she made it interesting with all her crazy antics. You know, does she suck in challenges? Yes, she's really bad in challenges. And does she suck? Does she actually kind of suck at Survivor? Like, maybe. Like, I'm still not sold if Carolyn's actually a good player or if she just keeps falling ass backwards into these moves, like, accidentally, you know? Like, if she keeps just accidentally making these really good moves on accident or she's a good player maybe she's even played it off for us you know maybe she's trying to blindside us herself i don't know but carolyn has definitely made the season better and you know you still got some cool cat like carson i like carson you know hopefully you can do stuff like i said I like danny so i do think we are set up for an interesting merge i strategically made this video right about when the merge is so i can get my thoughts about this season out at the merge and then at the end of the season i can you know say whatever right i can you know say if it did pick up you know or if the, it, or just the pre-merge was good and the post-merge was bad because i mean the season could go completely downhill from here you know what i'm saying like there is no guarantee that the merge will be good in the season there is no guarantee so i want to be able to make a positive video while i can and say that as of right now survivor 44 has been a, a pretty pretty good season in my opinion. I, I just it, everything has gone right for it so far. We haven't had an absolutely terrible elimination. Like there's just some people, you know what I'm saying, that need to go home pre-merge, and, and that has happened so far. You know, did we need Josh in the merge? Maybe not. Did we need Heidi in the merge? You know, maybe not. But you know, the people that have gone home in the uh, in the pre-merge, it, it it's been alright. It's been it's the the vote outs have been good. 
You see, this is my problem with Winners at War. It's just the pre-merge boot list, man, was just really rough, you know? Like, certain players that you needed to be at the merge to make the merge interesting just weren't there. You know, your Boston Robs weren't there and stuff like that. But this season, though, your Dannys, your Yam Yams, your Carolins, you know, your uh, Carsons, your Brandons, they're all at the merge. Other seasons, I don't know if these players make the merge. Like, Carolyn, if she was in place in 41, I don't know if she makes the merge. If Brandon was in 41, I don't know if he makes the merge. Or Danny was, I don't know if he makes the merge. But because how the seasons worked out, the characters that we need to show to be interesting have made the merge and that's really all you can ask for now it's up to the players <laughs> basically if the season will be good and hopefully i'm hoping production doesn't do anything else crazy you know i uh, don't really look at leaks a lot um but I, I i'm pretty sure there's no um uh what's it called do or die but there wasn't no do or die in 43 either so why would it be in this one and um i don't think there's an hourglass twist either i think they said they're doing something still like there's still gonna be like an urn the merge which i still think is really dumb because you earn the merge by not being one of the six people voted out in the pre-merge it's like why are we doing this but we still i think there's still gonna be earn the merge which i i can do away with it you know i i could do away with that but um other than that man all i gotta say is the season's been pretty good so far and i you know i can't wait to see how the season turns out hoping that it doesn't just turn into a dumpster fire you know and actually gets good down the stretch but we're just gonna have to wait and see anyway guys hope you guys have enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching